Hello everyone, this is Ben from Ben's Homebrew and today I am going to be showing you guys how to do some countertop all grain brewing. Um, it's not too hard, it's pretty simple to do, you don't need any kind of fancy equipment or anything. And uh, this is what I'm using right now, I have a little two gallon bucket with a, a spigot on it. You can see inside there I have my spigot and everything. And all I use is a little colander right here, one of these collapsible colanders. And you just put this inside of the bucket like that, and that is your manifold right there. That's your false bottom. These work really well. Um, some of the grains will go through it. All you need to do is just open up the valve and recirculate them, and they're just fine. Now over here, I have some citra whole leaf hops. These, that's about two ounces right here. And then there's some amarillo whole leaf hops right here. Uh, I'm doing an IPA today, but I don't know exactly what I'm doing with them. I have about, uh, I'd say about five pounds of Maris Otter malt right here and uh, I just kind of eyeballed all of this stuff and brought all this stuff together. Um, we had a pretty big snowstorm the past couple days and I figured might as well brew. There's nothing better to do. All that being said, I put some 5.2 into my uh, my mash water, it's right behind me heating up and uh, whenever it gets up to temp, I'm going to add my grain and we're going to get this thing rolling. Alright, while the mash water is heating up, I figured I'd give you guys a little shot of what happened the past couple of days. We got about two feet of snow. You can see those bushes are pretty loaded up out there. Um, pretty much a blizzard. So. I'm just going to stay inside and brew some beer because I think it's about 5 degrees out there. And I'm going to use that to my benefit later on in the video. I'll show you guys when. Okay, my mashed water is up to temperature. And what I do is I just take a bowl of this Maris Otter malt and I put it right down into the strainer like that. Uh, you don't want to just start dumping it in because sometimes the strainer will collapse a little bit on the sides and you'll get a little bit of grain down inside of your bucket there. It's not that big of a deal, but you want to prevent as much grain getting down there as possible. Because once you put this down in here, the grain will actually start to uh, seed itself up against the colander, the strainer. And then that way, you know, you don't have to worry about too much grain getting down below your uh, false bottom there. So I'm just going to start putting more, more of this stuff in here and dump this out. That's about good right now, and then I'm actually going to put some uh, some of my mash water in here, just like this. And I heated up about two gallons of this stuff, this mash water. I'm going to stir this up real good. Hope you guys can see this. You want to make sure you stir it up real well. Be careful you don't actually hit the sides of the, the strainer that's down there because you don't want to collapse it in a little bit. Uh, you don't want any kind of doughy clumps in there either. So make sure you stir this up real good to get the doughy clumps out. And uh, usually just do a little bit at a time. I'm going to add some more water. And then I'm going to add some more grain. And this is what they call doughing in. And uh, I'm just gonna see how much of this grain I can actually fit into here. I didn't really have any exact recipe drawn up for today. I'm just kind of winging it. Just making beer. I'm gonna add a little bit more water. I'm gonna try to max this out because I'd like to be able to collect about three gallons of beer with a gravity of about 1060 and I think I could get the rest of this in here all right so I'm gonna check the temperature on this I want to hold this about 152 153 um, I haven't really experienced a lot of heat loss with one of these little plastic buckets. They work pretty good. And uh, I'm inside. I'm not outside where it's freezing cold. So 
heat loss isn't that big of an issue. I'm going to let this sit for about, uh, I don't know, 45 minutes, 50 minutes, and then I'm going to start Vorloffing and collecting my wort and sparging. That'll do it. That's a good consistency there. This is Daddy's home brewing set, and and he he makes he brews beer. That's right. And today, what we're going to do is we're going to start Vorloffing right now. And Jack is holding a pitcher down here. I'm going to take the lid off. What I did was I simply took some aluminum foil and I punched some holes into it. So it can act as a buffer against the grain bed because you don't want to disturb the grain bed. So I'm going to open this valve up right now. And you're going to see all kinds of uh, grains coming out of here. And we're going to run this through a couple times in order to clear it up of the grains. I'm not looking for absolute clarity on the liquid, but we're going to keep recirculating it a little bit. Jack, can you put it up here or is that too tall for you? It's, that's too tall for you. Okay, well I'm going to gently dump this up here like this. If you look right there, you can actually see all the grain particulates. That's what you want to get out. Just want to pour it right over the grain bed like that. It's a nice, pretty color. There you go. You want to hold this again? Yeah, but I okay. want it, I want to do that. All right. You want to open that up? Go ahead, open it up. And you hold. I'll this. hold this. Go ahead. All right. Good job. I'll tell you when to close it back up. Okay, close it up. All right. We're going to do this a few more times until it runs clear of debris, and then we're going to start sparging the grains and collecting our wort. Okay, so we finished up Vorloffen, and what I'm going to do now is I have my uh, sparge water ready. I'm just going to take this little pitcher right here, and I'm going to slowly pour it on top right the grain bed. I'm going to open up my valve just a little bit so I can have some uh, runoff coming out. And I'm going to show you guys how beautiful this looks. And this was just a Maris Otter base malt, an English base malt. No crystal malt, no nothing collecting it down here in my bucket and you can see how dark that color is right there. It's going to be a nice golden color whenever we're done with this. And I'm just going to slowly collect this and sparge this on top just like this. This is just a fly sparge. You put the water on the top, it falls through the grain bed. Usually you see a little bit more efficiency this way. I'm in no hurry for this stuff. I'm actually going to take some of these citra hops right here and I'm going to do first work hop with them. Now, <clears throat> a lot of people think that this actually adds flavor to your beer. I don't think so. I think it actually mellows out the, the bitterness of the beer and um, gives you a nice clean bitterness. So I'm just going to toss some of these in here. And that's good for now. See, right there. I'm going to mix these up. And I'm going to continue sparging like this for a while until I collect about three gallons of water. I'm sorry, that's three gallons of work. <laughs> 